teams here at MDL. And Lumi is uh, going to check out. That's okay. I ran into the LGD 5 stack in one of my Chinese pubs. Victoria, Yao, I think it was Ame, and then two other people that were their friends. Five Who is the most dis like disgusting player on their team as far as like, you know, you're just like, ugh. Mm, I don't think they have any disgusting players. No. no. Just, Chinese players LGD's normally, they play a lot of RD, right? Ben. That's like the big pub that mode there, or it was for a while. Supposedly is the big mode there. Well, uh, the LGD Civil War commences. A lot of those big tempo controllers. Disgusting. Very flexible picks. Disgusting picker. D stones. That guy is disgusting. D stones. He's by far the most filthy guy I've met on the Perfect World server. Remaining. He he's like he has an NA mentality and he's on Reserve Perfect World server. And he he's like the most disgusting of both worlds. He has like the all the emo Radiant chats on his uh, feed about how all his teammates are shit all the time, <laughs> <laughs> and he's just a raging flamer. In hardcore, it, 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 yeah, he. Oh my God, that guy's the worst. Mm. D stones. You sound, you sound Ten like you're at peace with his remaining. disgustingness. Though. Oh yeah, I ran into him. He was, uh, he's, he is our Five art nemesis. Remaining. Me, Yannis, and uh, capitalist. Shaker. What's your record against him? I'm not sure, but Radiant he's our mortal team. enemy. What's your record when he's on your team? Uh, he's never been on my team. Okay. So uh, he's like he's pretty high. Pack. I think he was like top ten on the leaderboard for Pro World. So a lot of Radiant the pros know these zones too. He's an Invoker SF spammer. He's disgusting. Dirty. He dirty. is. He is Rally. really disgusting. Okay. Anyways. Anyway, we've got some uh, some some Dota happening here. The puck that got banned last game. We'll slip through. Drow Rangers classic tandem. Now selected for LG for every young LGD. Opening with the Shaker. Wow. Four position fours banned. Ten seconds remaining. That is what this patch has. It is the four position Five patch. You know, remaining. like from a player perspective, everyone wants to be a four right now, and all the four heroes getting banned. Reserve time. Earthshaker is starting to become the best three because of his creep manipulation abilities and because he's been buffed a lot, as as happens to most heroes. His talents are actually pretty good too. Strength, turns out, is one of the best stats to have as a talent if you are a strength hero. And who knows? Maybe he'll just show up mid randomly. We've seen a few mid shakers here and there. In China? Not so much. Unlikely. But maybe Sumail in China. Maybe Sumail in China, but not two Chinese teams. What, what, what do you, like... What's your assessment of like the Chinese meta right now, Ben? How does it differ from other regions? Slow to adapt. <laughs> Oh, I thought you meant like slow tempo. No, not slow tempo. Okay. Slow to it. Like they still run older strats. It's always been the knock on China. Uh, that they they like steal, you know, non-Chinese yeah. innovations and then perfect them. As Lumi giggles maniacally into his noodles. I don't think so. I think they just like, like they wouldn't be the first to run a Veno, for example. That's just not what they do. Like if you if you ever talk to Fog, he'll he'll tell you how IG Keep stole all of bottom bottom light. strats. Oh, I believe that, and that's Radiant why they want to. Yeah. I would believe that. I just want to hear Fog rant about. He he's a really nice, gentle soul, except oh. when it comes to like stuff he's like emotionally invested in, and he suddenly Fog can get triggered. Let's put it that way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's actually quite a lot of fun to witness. I like I I, I kind of I I'm, I'm I get very amused when I see fog triggered actually. Radiant I really enjoy back. it. And usually he's you know usually he has some justification for being triggered. But oh it's, yeah, it's still a lot of fun to watch. So uh, I guess we'll bring back Lumi. Hello, Lumi. Hello. How are your noodles? I'm back. I would like to say that Ten I took about a quarter remaining. of the time that to eat my noodle than Ben. Yeah, because I was ben actually trying like to talk half the match. Yeah, I was trying he, to speak and be involved in the conversation. Yeah, he was trying to pace himself. I think know. it's faster to just finish a noodle than... Time. Right? Is that not the point? It's faster, yeah. That's the one that I was talking about. <laughs> that wasn't the point in question. Is it faster to just eat your noodles or eat your noodles and talk? I wonder. <laughs> right. What I'm saying is if you want to be out back on the cast, you could just like eat and then come back. Yeah, but I just want to be involved, dude. All right. I think we should have just left... Lumi, like, unmuted, remaining. just slurping away at his noodles. No, I was time. making sure, what trying my best. Seconds. What is the name of that phenomenon in <clears throat> Korea where some people will just, like, watch other people eat? 
We so they have it on Twitch now. Oh, I know. You can watch like two IRL. Korean girls just eat way too much. I've never watched it, but I, <laughs> I've heard. I don't know what kind of I've response never it watched it. it. <laughs> how, yeah, how do you know they're cute then? Oh, mukbang. That's how, what it's called. I've heard. How do you know they're Korean? Radio I've heard. Team. How do you know they're girls? You've heard? I've heard. Uh, yeah. Someone told him all this yeah. stuff. But... Yeah. And for science, he might have confirmed the hypothesis. <laughs> or denied it. Who knows? <laughs> all right. We got a Rubik. All right. So, draft continues. Uh, the Rubik is grabbed up. Mm, Rubik, no is, field. Rubik is coming back. This, this hero, uh, over the last like two months, is really... because all the other fours are getting banned. Made his way back in the meta. Hey, you said Urshager's the best, you know, all three hero Ten right now, while Rubik remaining. is one of the best to punish it. And also you have the Drought R, so he's a little bit stronger Five early. Seconds remaining. Generally with the Rubik, we see like that other support Reserve that's a little time. less greedy that can enable his aggression, like Crystal Maiden. It's a pretty popular one for Secret. What does LGD Forever Young want? And what is LGD going to do with this Keeper? Is he just there to deep push? Well, do not have Keeper a, Bristle. Do they have a grander designs? Can you run an offensive trialing at Drow? That's I think that's LFY. That's something that they have to prepare for, right? Against Keeper, Keeper I think it's really hard. No, no, I'm thinking Keeper running it aggressive oh, against oh. the Drow, right? That's mm. one, be one, one of the easiest way to beat her. Keeper Tusk plus whom, though? Plus anything. You just have so much spam. I think it's pretty tough. I think try and try Rubik lanes generally went out because the telekinesis repositioning Ten is seconds okay. remaining. ridiculous. Ridiculous. Five seconds remaining. So they get the snowball and LGD Forever Young. Oh, it's their turn for a little Drow Storm action. So four ranged heroes. This is just an EG draft. They have into, no Wisp, though. Into, EG, into yeah. ES Tusk. Because they can't play Wisp. This is looking a little tough for LGD right now, guys. They have two melee heroes. They're remaining. kind of, <clears throat> ideally, they want the opponent to clump up, but LGD are good at spreading. Five Strong lanes. Remaining. How do LGD advance? Oh. Radiant Pia. team. A hero that can run at Drow. Let me, uh, yeah. He got more agility or something. Yeah, if he got more agility, gain. Agility gain. Was that really like a big issue with PL though? Uh, um, I didn't no, feel, but yeah. I think the agility gains are remaining. like the stat gains are deceptively strong because you get Five a lot per remaining. point. Like it gives them armor, it gives them attack speed, and it gives them damage. Mm. So it's not like a base damage Reserve buff is pretty straight. It's like, okay, you get four damage for the rest of the game. But for something like stat growth, I think it's it doesn't sound that great, but in actuality, it's <laughs> especially if you're your primary aperture. LGDs turn to well, I mean, like a, a mid hero getting base damage increase matters a lot for the laning phase, right? But yes. for for a safe laner uh, like PL, then you much rather than have like just just stat growth Probably over growth. base damage or base stat like base agility higher increase. base. Yeah. yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Is PL good against this draft? Would you uh, guys say? It depends on how you build him. I think if you can remaining. build him tanky and you can actually run at him without. S that's the thing about PL. If you're not right clicking, you're useless. So if you just dare spamming lances, LGDs you're pretty useless. You have to have. To you actually have to have a right click. Goal. So you're saying like Ags as one of the earlier major items is, isn't the way to go. Uh, I generally don't prefer it. I think you just need to be able to stand there and tank like treads. Okay. Treads plus any HP Ten item. Because every time I've seen PL, like they just go X and then they lose because it's yeah, it's like like Treads drums oh. or something like that. Radiant I think it's team. it's it's like a okay uh, fighting. I also don't like Manta on him. This Maybe is a mid, mid PL. Yeah, mid PL. They have Keeper too, so Keeper with PL I think is a little bit uh, it's a lot stronger because this way you don't actually need to get BOTs. You can just get recall, Ten which is great remaining. for him. So LGD going to the Sven. Uh, obviously, the Warcry is pretty nice remaining. against Drow, and he gives you a lot of burst damage. Yep, pretty good. Time. They're a little light on but, the lockdown, for but Storm it's four melee Cup. heroes against a Puck yeah. and a Storm. Well, they, they just want to be able to run at the Drow. Yeah. Right, that's their strat. And you could break the coil too with uh, Tusk. Right, Perfect. you just snowball towards the Drow and bring everything in with you, and all the coils will snap. Just pretty good. I'm like an LGD forever young here. Drow strats with Puck are pretty hard to hate. Eat them. And now they get the tree. No real good solution here for the living armor. Not to mention, obviously, he's Piel super illusions. annoying for Sven. Yeah. Echo, I guess. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> not good. 
insta lock. I don't know PL's build, but if he goes treads, I will side with LGD. If he doesn't go treads, <laughs> I will side with LGD forever. That is the entire game in a nutshell, right? There. Whether he goes shred or not. Okay. Whether he goes shred or not, yep. That's right. it. That's all it is. Well, guys, uh, I do want to remind you all that there are actually two games happening right now. I believe it's IG versus Vici Gaming Ten happening on Beyond the Summit remaining. 2. Uh, be sure to check that out, as we'll have two Five concurrent streams going remaining. throughout the round robin group stage. I think Clutch vs. Newbie just wrapped up, and I'm pretty sure Newbie took that one. Um, but yeah, IG versus Vici coming up. Uh, Breaky CPK and Z Rock bringing the action to you at least for the first half of the day, possibly all day. I'm not sure, but we're waiting for the teams to finish selecting their heroes. We'll get into this game. So, Ben, it's all about the treads for you, Lumi. What does the game hinge on for you? I think it depends on how LGD wants to lane it. I still think they have the possibility to run a successful offensive trial lane to shut down the draw. Um, depends on how much the puck will get. Do you see LGD for every young trying to dodge that lane? Like, how would they adjust to that? I think uh, from the Drow perspective, I think they should, they feel like they should be able to take the lane as well because they have Treant, they have Rubik, so I think it's going to be a close laning phase. Um, the Drow team has to lose a lane for the other team to actually have a chance. All right, well, tower duel begins, and looks like LGD Forever Young with a sizable disadvantage here against LGD Classic. So the player with the Chinese name is Inflame. Uh, he's playing the puck, making sure that's clear. And uh, the mid player for LGD is maybe. Well, LFY is maybe. Sorry, LGD is maybe. I'm, I'm getting too confused. Even though just he's say, tagged if up you're not sure, just say LGD, and then you can always be like, right, "Well, right, I meant right, I meant the other LGD." <laughs> right, right. No, so PL is maybe. I just want to point that out, even though he's not tagged up as such. Somnus. Somnus. Oh, he's only played PL three times. Professional. And the last time he played it was in uh -oh. 2016 in March. Oh no, a cliffing on 11. All Slow, right. painful death. Got a fissure off though. Are they going to kill him off quickly here? Or you can leave him alive as long as possible, possible right? Storm, I guess. No? Okay. I'll just make sure it works a bit. So, substance. get some wards down, but Dude, death to the Rubik. What is Tusk Sir? What, what cosmetic does he have? Which one? With the one that surrounds them in this the aura shield, yeah. of ass, like he's like his own planet. Is it whiskey? The s no, it can't be whiskey. The stout. Like it's one of those gem thing that you could equip. part of Barrier Rogue. It's like a set. Oh. Oh, it's the orbital of the cage. Yeah, yeah, it's a gem that you. Dude, equip. That is awesome. Tron. Tron has an enchantress that also has this like glow thing around it's the room. It's in the fist. Yeah. That should help. Okay. Well, we got underway here with the lanes. So it is the Puck and Flame headed to the off lane. They're going to run Monet safe lane. Eleven going to be doing some fissure blocking here bottom, at least for now. Doesn't look like anything too unusual with this laning setup. We got the Ka, but not the Lay. No kill. Now they're saying, saying it for our pen. Do they say ping in Chinese? If it's just ping? Sometimes they say MS. But, yeah. I always thought it was cool how they use, like, some English words for stuff that can't be described that well in Chinese. Such as? Such as? Ping. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else do they say? Like, bye-bye? They say bye-bye? Or -bye? Well, there is a good way to say it, but they still say bye-bye anyways. <laughs> Why am I, so, I don't know. McDonald's? So cool. They type they McDonald's have, is they McDonald's a, in every language. They have like a, their own way of pronouncing it. My Donald. Yeah. Brutal, oh savage, wrecked. Brutal, savage, wrecked. Everyone getting their chat wheel out of their system, you know, better now than during the game. Oh, I love it during the game. What, what? lines What lines are missing from the chat wheel there? Like must adds for you guys. Is there anything? Do we have all the best lines in the chat wheel? Mm. I'm sure there's some good Lumi lines in there. There's a lot of... My lines never <laughs> make grammatic sense, so like, it just grammatic grammatical. Add. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Andy. Yo, can we get some uh, top shelf Lumi if we're going to have a longer no, pause here? No, please don't. No, you don't want it? Not when I'm here. Not when Maybe in the later shift. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to. Every air, time I don't want to air it. If can you, you lie? Translate for us. <laughs> <laughs> translate for you. Uh, 
You could turn on the YouTube uh, closed captioning and have that translate for you. I'm sure it'll be perfectly. Oh, how, how, how did he? How did he saw me? How did he saw me? I was like, I like the Harriet Tubman train to freedom. Yeah, that was I like that. That was too. probably my That's favorite. But how you, when do you even like apply that? When you're quelling blading through the trees, yeah. dude. That happens every game, I'm sure. When you juke through the trees. Okay. When you're sinking and every time you pearl strike. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Okay, oh, okay. Wait, I forgot I'm actually the camera guy here. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I was enjoying our conversation too much. Uh, but it is a first blood to LFY with that cliffing. Well done by the Rubik. And now the lanes get underway. So okay, he's running this try lane Trying to catch this puck out who has skilled the orb. Or orb back to safety. Apu. Giving the old tree punch to Yao. Half his health gone. Just like that. Not fun for him. Kale continue. So as the uh, the LGD top lane, the way that it's looking right now, I'm not sure how often the, the two supports gets to leave. Because if they do leave, I think the tree and puck will just beat the Sven. If they don't leave, then I, I feel like the stacking might be a little bit hard to come by for the Sven down the line. So, so you feel like LFY just kind of have the edge either way. Right. Either the economy but, suffers or the lane suffers. Yeah, Ben, do you agree? Or... Uh, yeah, I agree. The lane suffers either way. The power of the tree and the puck with the drow are... I think you can have the tusk room, though. I think you can just keep Coddle Sven. Okay. And just spam them down, right? And just... But the... And they have a Sentry Ward already. I think you just have to be able to at least get level 2, hopefully level 3 on Keeper and just keep spamming out the wave. And then th this way you, your Tusk can move around and then your Keeper can stack. And, but I think if Keeper leaves the lane, they just lose the lane. Yeah, they, they need to roam mid, right? Because I, I think one of the advantages of a PL mid is that his ability to assist in a dive is so powerful. Your lands, you just like rush in. And if you have like an eye shard there, you're, you're probably killing the storm. So that is the number one place that I think Touch needs to go to early on. This was tough, tough for him though, because Phantom Lancer can't really harass. He doesn't have Siamara, he's not going to have Chakra. True. Uh, he doesn't have Bottle that early, so he can't actually. You can't right click. You a can't storm. spam Lances, yeah. So there's no way for him to actually get him in kill range, is what it seems like. Bottom lane also is not looking very good for LGD. Pay patience from so. But it, it comes down to whether PL gets shreds or not. <laughs> that is the, yep, that is that the ultimate factor. Is what happens here. What? So I, I didn't. I was eating noodles. But what is the logic between the treads again? If you're not right clicking people as PL, you're not doing anything. Why? Why is it when you're? Why is it when you're like eating noodles? Like your brain just stops working. I'm just trying to enjoy my noodles. <laughs> so do you go into like a noodle like yeah. frenzy or something? Or? That's how those Korean girls really enjoy food. Like. Yeah, you go back to the camera. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just quickly rush back to your mouth. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to have a conversation here, man. You know, I want to understand the the noodle magic. LD is very well mannered in real life while having conversations. Like he looks at your face and everything. That's why when the game starts, he I panic. Yeah. And we yeah, eye contact is not, not a too. Chinese thing. Yeah, like it's just it's, it's a very American thing. Like I, I think when the first couple of years I when I came to America, like when people were looking at my face, I'm like, is he trying to intimidate me? Is that what's <laughs> happening here? Is this like a sign of dominance? And then we later found out, oh, that's just like being nice. So that was <laughs> a sign my... of dominance. Jesus, <laughs> you know, it's like they're staring down. That's why my yeah. dad does me. It's, I mean, it's true with like some animals, like with cats, for example. Like if you if you like stare at them, like it scares them. You know, yeah. like blinking. Is like it makes you vulnerable, you know, because when you close your eyes, in theory, like your senses are more limited. So it's a way to like show affection. My cats always stare at me; they're kind of feral. I saw your cats the other day. They were, they are very cute. And they're very afraid. They're... No, they they let me pat them this time. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's quite rare. Louis. I took a picture of them. You're a cat whisperer. I am a cat person. Can I see? Can, can yeah, you send me that I, yeah. I can, I have right here. I see, need... the thing is, like, they don't like me because I'm the guy who takes them to the vet. So. They're like used to me take anytime I grab them, it's you know, too many of those times have been bad memories. Scroll to the right. Ooh. The 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 other cat doesn't the the white one really likes me. The other one is like get off at they they can't. This is Munchkin. They're both white. This is Rascal. The the gingery white one doesn't like me. Gingery. Ginger. 
The ginger went one. That's more than I've pet Munchkin in like uh, two months. You gotta get some pet action going, dude. <laughs> well, I rescued them kind of late. Like, cats are supposed to be socialized in like the first six weeks. Once you get to like eight to ten weeks, if they haven't already like gotten comfortable with humans, they tend to always be afraid of them. Uh -huh. And I didn't, they weren't like rescued until they were like 12 weeks or something. Not quite fully feral, but definitely not through time socialized through time. properly. Yeah. Why are you giving me a look, Ben? I'm trying to intimidate you. Sign of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a uh, yeah, a little intimidated. Right now. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not even work. having a. Co it only works if Lumi you're having a conversation. Lumi doesn't seem very. What if I'm just paying attention to you? Okay. I can't just look at you yeah, with eyes. I, I guess so. What? Uh, when, when is it too much? Like. When is it too much eye contact? And it goes from like being friendly to being to, like creepy. When you're in a public up. bathroom. Up. <laughs> when you're in a public room. <laughs> That's definitely messed up. <laughs> All right, yeah, the threshold varies based on the circumstances, Location, right? right? Yeah. Location, yeah. Public bathroom's definitely a no-go. Where else, where's like the definite no eye contact situations? What if- When you're driving a car. Okay. <laughs> it's also <laughs> definite no eye contact. What if like- Even if you're at a stoplight? Then, then it's okay, right? Surely, surely you don't a little stare at him. A little wink, you know, a little little nod. Little sign I of never a little wink. Wave. Wait, 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 wait. Like if we we pull up to the stoplight at the same time and I just look out, like look at you, isn't that like a challenge? It's a dominance. Like thing. we're, you, we're you racing, can't look right? away first, you know. Don't, don't then you gotta rev the engine. I usually just let him go it's like this. I see. I thought oh. that's how all the initial D movies started. You just like look at them at the stoplights <laughs> and then the race commences. Sometimes, <laughs> if it's like 4 a.m., yeah. This time. So overall, looks like we're having uh, it's the haves and have-nots. This mid lane, everybody's got, and the rest of the they're struggling a little bit with the early CS. We're gonna be under some pressure here from Mr. Afu. Sven comes in quickly, brewed it up though, and they're actually gonna make a go of that. Sven, these tree punches Whoa. are far too powerful. Beautiful body blocks from Inflame and. Wow, he's actually not even level two yet. Oh my goodness! No oh, war, yeah, cry. war cry. Nice takedown there. Christ, tough life. Yeah, I can't even get the bounty room. Oh my god! Oh, Afu's gonna here. get another. Ooh. Close call. Got it. Is he gonna die here? Did I have detection for him? This tree. Tree is so obnoxious, but at least he got that. Got that ward. Yeah, they have gotten a double D ward off on him. One sentry, one obs. Yeah, I can't even go home. He's like one punch away from getting rooted and then another punch to death. Oh is my Afu going to dive this? Is he going to tango his way through? He's is he going to make a big play? No, he's just going to go for a Victoria instead. Who has the snowball, has the shard, and they chain up these stuns here a little bit. Afu likely going down. He just mans up on Victoria. Now the shard's coming out. Big commitment from Inflame. He wants a piece of that touch. The orb secures it on a killing spree in the offlane. He can maybe even turn back for Yao after salving up here. Has the stick charges as well. Miu on the bottom lane, 11 going for the TP out. Barely gonna make it. One more auto attack and down he would have gone. LFY crushing these side lanes early. Dude, this is some five out of seven camera control right now. Five out of seven. That's the perfect score. Huh? One would say it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> One would say. Oh, Super. oh out. Damn, yeah. what a shard. Easy. <laughs> yeah, or uh, for Victoria, looking like Jarex there. Victoria is one of my favorite supports from uh, China. Because he can actually play Wisp. That's a rarity in China. In China. It's not as rare as it used to be. I mean, there was a period where Chinese teams like literally did not run. Well, he can actually play Wisp well. Not he, he, he doesn't do the, okay, I'm just going to sit behind people. He can actually like make stuff happen as Wisp, which I think is very rare. Flame can maybe make some things happen here top if they're not careful. Why have there no, been no Meepo players in China? There's like literally zero Meepo players. Even in even in pubs. No, it's it better. Who's like the big Meepo pub? Who's like the WeHop China? There isn't one. No, I don't think so. Not even in pubs. Yeah, there was like a, a, a two weeks where Meepo was a top pick across all regions, and a Chinese player played it, and I was able to cast those games. And I'm like, yeah, this is not. <laughs> it's like a 6k pub Meepo. It's not even good. Not yeah, they just, they just don't good. don't get it, or don't have don't have enough practice, I suppose. They just don't get it. They just, they don't, just get don't get it, it dude. <laughs> Language thing. Yeah. We need uh we need we had to go there and look at them in the eyes. <laughs> Soulfully. 
Um, this puck might be a little trouble throughout the orb. Oh, just barely jaunt in time. He almost chained him down. And meanwhile, in the trees, all of the left, and being hound a little bit gets off the enchant totem, but DDC there to cut him off, looking for the body blocks. Good lift. He brings him down and goes for the TP. Not going to happen. Good kill for Alifly as these lanes are starting to spiral out of control for LGD, getting out farm pretty heavily, too. I mean, I wonder what the major difference is uh, for the Shaker, right? Last game, we saw Shaker being very successful, even though he was up against, you know, the, the Shadow Shaman and everything. He's not doing a side pool. Yeah, I guess. And also, he got cliffed at level one. I guess that also doesn't help. Let's, let's give him, you know, let's... Well, that didn't actually really hurt his lane at all, right? He gave the Pug. I Pug guess. got first blood. Yeah. So... It hurt his morale, though, okay? That's true. It, it, it's, it's tilt worthy. Still so getting smacked by a tree and losing a fifth of your HP. <laughs> That's he's almost got 100 life. damage already. Yeah, doesn't feel good. As soon as that war cry is ending, you can also see like Afu is ready to get aggressive here. Oh, man. Lane is pushing a bit though, so not going to go for it just yet. Oh yeah, they didn't cut down all the trees at the start. That would have helped a lot too. A little deforestation. You can't hide. Fresh sentry planted down. That tree is still proving to be quite the pest. Super is just free oh, farming mid. Oh. Yeah, uh, Afu can just do whatever he wants in this top lane. Keeper can't pull. They can't go for kills. And Sven is in danger of dying. And Keeper, can't Keeper can't really s farm and stack either. You know, which. Well. Yeah, there is actually zero stacks on the left side of the jungle. I don't think the Shaker is also stacking, so Sven is going to have trouble catching back up. And they're not, well, I don't think, stacking Ancients any. Oh, there is one double stack of Ancients. Okay. But that was Victoria roaming on mid. Keeper is not feeling very effective. Meanwhile, LFY making a move here with DDC. Not yet scouted, I don't believe. Now they have the coil. They deployed on Ame. He's going to try to war cry away, but if DDC gets this lift with the tree punch comboed up a little bit, kind of stacks the lockdown there, but doesn't seem like it'll matter. The war cry wearing off a couple more auto attacks. They just barely poke him down. Death by the fairy dragon. And Puck is at 900 gold with Treads wand in the off lane. Raindrops now grabbed and either a fast veil or blink on the horizon. Okay, Phantom Wester has Treads queued up. This is the beginning. This is it right here, some boys this, and girls. Some this, some this. Come on, maybe you can carry this with Treads. He knows. He knows about the Treads. I mean, I I think they're losing. Radiance you can make the argument at least two out of three lanes. I think they're getting dumpstered so, yeah. in two of their lanes. So I I don't know if Phantom Lancer is the, the hero you want to put your ships on. I already did, dude. You already did? I already That's did. That's true. It's an honorable way. Well, let's hope uh, this the, goes well for you, Ben. The Treads is the equivalent of him looking at you in the eye. Ben is a gambler. He likes to bet. Sometimes. Often can be found lurking in the den of some casino at any event. Sometimes. So. Yeah, I didn't see Ben at all at Milella. Yeah, well, you know where he I was. could find him at, you know. I mean, there was a casino in the hotel, right. so. Are you are you I ate Jolly Bee like though? three times? That was great. No one is successful. They are, they're your liar. <laughs> so why do you play? Hang out with people for the thrill. All my degenerate friends are there. Take the wind from their Ben's shield. a social gambler. I am a social gambler. <laughs> Drow is actually not that farmed though. Or where are her items? I guess she just has treads. She's got 800 gold banks. Yeah. Doing all eight. She actually seems a little bit scared. Oh, Afu does find old 11. He could be in a pickle here. Got it. Can it. Can it. Gonna start this off with the frost arrows. They do have the silence, but Gust will not come out in time. Now the root. And Monet able to gun 11 down. Meanwhile, while that was happening, Yao also got picked off in the top lane. Coil not even committed for that, so they punished the... Keeper of the Light trying to hide behind the trees, but doing so is only going to get harder this game with a Storm that is yet to leave his mid lane and a Puck that fast approaches a blink. It's going to be a very difficult Keeper game. It's looking like a great game for all the LFY cores, and well, meanwhile, there's a PL with Treads. MPL we trust. 
Fit is sorely misplaced, Ben Wu. Perhaps Coil was just now dropped, and LFY losing one in a two before they better at least get this puck kill. Echo has to be committed, but committed it will be. Dang. That's a pretty big kill for a Shaker because he had a four kill streak, so Shaker is that much closer to Blink. And Puck did not have the gold for the Blink yet. Yeah, so. Still, though, bottom lane abandoned. Free push for Monet. A lot of damage on this tower. All right, so real talk for a second. You say PR has Fred. Like, who can he actually run on a kill, right? Drow Ranger has Dust. It's more about the concept of the practicality. <laughs> I see. This is getting a little too philosophical for my taste. Oh, does that mean? Oh, okay. Nice pick off. The Gorman, you're a... The Gorman? You're, you're a... Uh, Blossom. Yeah, so there you I, go. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I had all, all college education worth. That's enough for one lifetime. Uh oh, Sven. Well, that was real philosophy, Lumi. Not Dota philosophy. I'm surprised they went back for that kill. Like, Storm had, what, 40% in his mana pool? Well, Arcane Room. It mean, makes it like 70%. Doesn't help your ball lightning too much. Ain't no need a ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you just get blink on Storm. You don't need a ball at all. <laughs> Learn from the best, man. I'm always balling. Right. Soto is in flame here, and the top lady's got the orb. Ooh. Almost gets the maybe kill. Oh, that's a bait. Maybe it's a stick up. And super with the counterplay. Big ball lightning forward has the arcane oh. run of Doom. Where another was ball. The bait? Another kill. Easy for super. I'm disappointed in that PL illusion micro. All right, so. Cuckoo, you know how he plays his PL? When, once he uses his first double ganger, he hotkeys the two individual illusions that you create. One of them takes the same damage as your hero, but deals none, and the other one deals damage, but takes more. So you're supposed to hotkey the one that takes the same damage as your hero. And pretend it's your hero. Exactly. Yeah. That's why Cuckoo always make the biggest play. And I mean, what, what you say that his last PL game was at March 2016? Yep. Not a PL player, dude. He just don't know. He knows about the present. Well, you know them. That's why you're here. I mean, I'm a scrub, so I... I... You're a theory god. Oh, 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 oh. Good silence on the mid lane. They're going to find maybe. They burst him down. LFY with a huge pick. And oh, by the way, Rubik. Six already. Great spells to steal here. They want a piece of this fan. They might just find him. They haste on an inflame. They can't afford to lose Ame. This is another gigantic pick for LFY. Another tree punch secures it. They are just rampaging over this dire jungle. Already a 5k gold lead. Super threatening to dive the tower. Yao yeah, will scout him out there through the tree line, but Gandalf just cowers in the corner. And they're gonna scan. He knows. He goes for it. Screw it, man. Super's going in. Wait, doesn't quite have the vision, but he knows there's someone in the area. He's about to find good old Yao. Hey, buddy. How you doing? He walks right back into the remnant and into certain doom. 13 to 3. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a, a quick game at this rate, gentlemen. Oh my god, this is gonna be a drought tournament where for Dyer's every team just like first two picks drought plus one. There's a blink though. A big debut by old eleven. DDC though, sharking himself back into the trees, but maybe able to track him down with the lance. Could have been a big swag play. Not the case, definitely. I'll take that. I mean, normally if it's a really big drought tournament, drought just starts getting banned. Yeah. Then you're letting these like amazing four position go. I can get down with that. That's okay. exciting. Who doesn't like Night Stalker running around the map and Radiance freaking chaos? They smoke attack. with the Shaker Blink. They do have Echo up. Inflame. They would love this Inflame kill. He doesn't get out in time with the orb, and 11 will pounce. Could have jaunted back there. Didn't see it coming, though. We'll get punished for it. Afu is a bit late to wrap around mid and reveal the rotation. Might get the chicken though. He's in position. Okay. You could root it. There you go. Dyer's courier has been killed. Radiant's bottom tower Tree is, is under attack. A courier sniping expert. Top tower is under attack. Eleven though, making plays here from the off lane. Gonna bring back the old E home a little bit. When they were really doing well last year, it was Radiant's old eleven. Making the plays. Yeah, they dropped the gold. Well, he's not playing with Lanham anymore, I guess. Yeah. As that team got better, like everyone started adding old to their name. Like at first it was just old chicken, and then it was old eleven. Um, there was at least one other player on the team who had old as well. I don't know if it was Lanham. Everyone knows he's old anyway. <laughs> he's a father. 
very proud of his son. Regeneration. I believe actually it's Connor, but yeah, he, he loved showing pictures of his kid. I remember I was joking, with, I, I rode back with him from one of the major yeah. events, and I was talking to him, and he had like just recently had his kid, and he was like captaining his team, and I was like, oh, now you pretty much have like six children, because, or <laughs> what was it, five children, five children, because it was like his kid and his four teammates, and then he looked at me like really, really scared, he's like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, you knew. <laughs> I was like, relax. <laughs> you don't, you don't have my kids. <sighs> then I had to explain it to him that he has to babysit his teammates, and then he looked a lot more relieved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's lived a full life. <sighs> the funnier moment was right before that. Oh, oh, he's oh here. Commitment God. for Mr. Maybe. So dead. LFY will crush it. They are done for. Dude. I yeah, at least it's early game. And then if they get Roche, Radiant's which it looks like they will soon will, this medallion pick up onto, uh, onto the tree. This is tower number four down. And they're getting the items to keep this going further. The dragon lance on the ground working maybe towards that hurricane spike. But for now, picking up a silver edge pick up, and LFY just keep the push going. Meanwhile, LGD, they're too afraid to actually go for the towers, even though LFY have shown five mid, now they're missing. Tree could be sneaking up on you. Puck could be about to jump you. Storm could be lunging in, so they can't even really do anything to split. Oh, they push. see Shaker mid. He's getting jumped on. He just walked past an invis rune. Or, er, sorry, he has an invis rune. Walk past a uh, sentry. If he walks back mid, he might just get lifted. Over here now. Not the good kind either. All right, I'll fly. 14 to 5, pretty cruisy game so far for them. Any sense of urgency? Are they just content to take it slow? Stone Clump. Don't get echoed into Stormbolt, into Cleave. That's bad. That's when the bad things start That's happening. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. But it can happen. It has happened a lot. Especially when you go for things like Rogue without good vision. They don't actually have good proper vision around Rogue, so they could potentially go for it too prematurely. And LGD could go for a smoke play. They have tree. They have though. tree, right? Yeah, he stands outside. They do have tree, but I've seen some. Oh my god! That is a very easy kill for LFY. They are not handling this tree well at all. He is just owning them. Lanes, split pushes. Stupendous. I still think my favorite Lana moment was the. The was it WPC Ace? Where he just That's smashed like the monitor yeah. smash, where he just hit the table so hard, the reverse all kill <laughs> from zero three to four three. You casted that event, right? Like it was how how long was it? Eight hours. It was like a, it was actually a twelve hour broadcast for one series. Seven games. There was a like two hour lunch break in the middle. Uh, there were decent pauses in between each. Some of the games were pretty long. That was uh, me, Winter, and Lysander. Old try cast, but oh, they have found the tree. You said they're not good at handling them. I beg to differ. Says LGD, at least for now. But he's pretty low here. He'll get earned up. DDC making the jump forward. He really wanted that fissure. He'll get the enchant totem. Now super in danger. A little more ball action, but not enough. The defusal blades here. This is where PL can really start to eat up. They have managed to control the shaker. They'll bring him down. But now looking for DDC. Nothing to stop that TP. He'll get out of there. A wow. Two for one. That was so greedy from Shaker. He still bought onto the Rubik instead of just killing the Rubik. He blinked onto the Drow Ranger, got guts and died. <laughs> They're going back in. Silence. Coil. Commitment. The follow up. Silence. Oh. Put the snowball save. Not oh. enough. Super comes in. Balling back. And he will quickly <laughs> counterplay that. Make it a three for two overall. Was that a miscue a little bit by the snowball? Because he, he grabbed the, uh, the PL. He could have just hit him inside a little bit longer to wear off the, the silence. Right? And then you could double ganger out. Yeah, my Storm is still at a little mana, so maybe he dies anyway, but gives you a fighting chance. Here's the medallion in action, as you guys mentioned. Straight into the Roche pit. Storm hits so hard. Already 200 damage auto attack. Just with those two talents in the drow. Did lose a couple of Bloodstone charges in that last fight. Slight silver lining for LGD. Very slight. Oh, one, one thing to mention is that it's really nice as a Rubik player to be playing with Drow because at level 10, 
you essentially get your left side of the talent tree for free because you have draw aura. So generally, you, you, you take the plus damage because you can just like hit creeps a little bit faster to the neutral. Uh, but now he gets both. He puts the right side. Think of, the tree. of how fast you could hit creeps with both of them. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you're dead and you still get GPM when you're dead. So. Yes. But you're right. You could get you know plus 120 damage and incrementally is that. Super with an Aegis. Welcome to such news on LGD's chances in this game. They are just losing the tower left and right. They need a big echo. And they're giving up some free Bloodstone charges. Super right back yeah. to where he was. Almost 11 charges now. Things are still spiraling away from LGD, and they're going to make a move now on the mid lane, perhaps. These silences have been brutal for maybe, but the counter play is here. Big Daddy Sven gets in on the action. The follow-up comes through with the Fissure. The Echo, huge commitment for the draw. She's not dead yet. She has the Hurricane Pike. Will eventually drop, but oh, they get nothing in return for now. They want to make something happen with the overgrowth, but where's the follow-up? The team's not there. The tree just sacrifices himself. Sentry got dropped. I think it was... After he overgrows, not entirely sure. A little choppy. By the way, he'll drop as well. Didn't have enough heroes, I guess, to take that fight. Wait, so LGD wins the fight, they get two kills, they even got the overgrowth out for free, but they decide they can't push the tower. They are so very weak. Okay, I mean that mid tower, it's that's gonna be the lowest it's gonna ever gonna be, right? That Tree's gonna heal it back up, so. I don't know, it's uh it's gonna be rough for LGD if, you know, the small fights you win that you can't even get more off of it. You want LFY to fight into you though, not the other way around. That's true. Really yeah. true. Like, the way you get back in the game is when they push into the Oh dive my in. god, they really hate maybe calling for backup. He is gonna be able to doppelganger towards safety. And now the turnaround on the puck, the storm completely whipped his initial ball lightning and LFY still dove for it. Very ambitious and will be punished. Another death for the puck. Slow and safe. The LGD way. So what is uh, the kind of the threshold we're looking at for LGD when they could actually, like what item we're waiting for, for them to actually be able to now make the offense instead of just waiting for LFY to come at them? BKB on Sven. Bet it. One big Echo Slam. I don't think it's that item defended. Yeah, maybe BKB on Sven if I had to choose an item. But it's more so game flow. LFY, like they have thrown a fair amount of bodies, I would say, towards LGD, and the gold lead is slowly swinging back uh, top towards the way of LGD. Do you guys feel there's a clear late game advantage for either team? Seems like it is slowing down. Not obvious that LFY can end it anytime soon. Usually, I favor the non draw team. And in this case, I think the Storm is probably going to be able to pick up the slack, but I still usually favor the non drought team just because she usually has trouble keeping marksmanship up. Yeah. Kato getting Axe to me is also a big swing. It allows your team to play and... Oh, they scout out DDC here. He did not manage to bleak out in time. Caught by the Walrus Punch, but now the turnaround. Storm comes rushing in with the double damage rune and a head full of steam. Locking out the Shaker will finish off 11. Now Victoria forced to retreat. Should make it back to safety, but another Bloodstone charge. Still the Aegis online. Super. Back to where he started. This Shaker's a big kill, too. Shaker's like the real big playmaker at the moment. No one else can really. Like, Tusk can, yeah, he can cast his spells, but he can't actually kill anyone. Storm can just react quickly enough. So can Puck. And Sven is not really farmed enough, it feels like, to make kills happen. Nah, he needs a buddy. LFY are going to group up here. Squad of three looking to push. They know the Shaker's down still for five seconds. They can maybe scout him rotating with Afu. Camping out the bottom lane. They leave the puck towards the top, hoping for an easy support snipe. You know, it would be a tasty treat if he dares to head to that lane. But he's sticking back a little bit further. Meanwhile, Super making the move, jumping. But into the shrine he went as a big committed jump forward. And Mike have punished him without Super. Dead once, and they kill him a second time. They've got the Echo. Will 11 go for it? No, the Silence, the Coil, could prevent it all. They managed to lock Super down somehow through the Puck's counterplay. It wasn't in time. And they will get that kill on the Storm and the Puck. There's a Cherry on top. Now DDC, his turn to march in. Go for a quick little feed, and even through the Kale, he will fall. Why? Will they just get the tower bottom lane now, Monet. 
Perhaps he's next on the list. Snowball takes a long journey towards the well. Not going to make it there, though. That was a series of very unfortunate events for LFY. They did a lot of damage to that tier 3 bottom, though. So it's not... I guess that's a silver lining. But Storm back down to 8 plus stone charge. He's about to finish his BKB, so his... Uh, him getting pressure by the Diffusal Blade is going to so soon to end. Yeah, I think we still need some big echoes uh, from the Shaker to really give him the, the edge in these fights. Spinner wants his BKB. The Treads PL magic. Yeah. It's coming alive <laughs> I believe, here. dude. Yeah. I believe. How much does, uh, does Sven BKB actually matter, though? Because they have Overgrowth and Frost Arrow to, to control him. There's a lot of ability to kite him in, in the team fights. I think it's more to, like the threat of his damage. So you have big. to position yourself pretty awkwardly in the fight. Well, he can get a lot of front loader bursts, right? Right. Oh, Lemon. So this is a stay kill if they can find him. Overgrowth is ready. Apu. Gonna try to slow him okay. down, but the Yule Scepter dodges the I mean, Overgrowth. Storm could... Needs to punch him. He's not gonna get the punch off in time now. A big ball lightning forward super. Again off the mark with the ball oh lightning. And he somehow, miraculously, makes it up. Here's the thing. Storm was just walking towards that fight. He could have zipped like five seconds ago. I just wonder why he was... What he's waiting for. A oh, puck has gem now. Radiance middle tower is under Gold attack. is pretty close now. They lose one fight, they lose this gem. It is LGD favorite. And Roshan is respawning pretty soon. I don't know if LG, LGD FY are in a comfortable attack. enough position to actually just walk into it before a 5v5 engagement Radiant has even started. Are fortified. Yeah, uh, there's Manta finish on maybe as well. I know you say you didn't like it, Ben, but... It's good versus there. Right? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of silences that you can take off. Two silence and overgrowth. As long as he gets treads, dude. <laughs> My <laughs> man! <laughs> All right. Look how suave he looks in those treads. What a majestic creature. They will make their move here on the puck, and oh my God. finds That's another, gem. and what do you know? It's the gem! Oh my god, now the FY throws. Well, not really throw, but the order was delivered. Lady Ruru smiling here oh, on LGD Classic. LGD just finding pick after pick. The game is crumbling for LFY. Radiance top tower is under attack. Uh, yeah. It just... I, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you, Ben. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That is correct. <laughs> I have nothing of value to add here. At, at least he's, you know, he's honest about it. He's not bullshitting. That's what I like about you, Ben. My mom told me not to lie. I took that to heart. She... You I'm lie when you play Mafia. Dead. Yeah. That's Apparently. kind of the objective. That so. is the objective. It's, it's part of the game. But... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying you were pretty good at it, Mafia, which makes... You feel I, like those I, skills may have been polished. Oh, that's because I'm town. When I'm Mafia, I'm awful. But really? when I'm town, I can be I can be honest. Is this the long con? Are you just trying to convince people now yep. in town? Ben's playing next, Mafia like, even yeah. now. Yep. That's, yeah. He's Stupendous. lying even My mom now. actually didn't even tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> ben doesn't have a mom. <laughs> I, I want to say that's not true, but I didn't actually get to meet your mom in Vanilla, oh. even though you promised. Jack so. did. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Gorman here. Bed Thug Gorman, and... excuse you. <laughs> Thug Gorman. <laughs> get it right, Lumi. Oh, GD looking to get it right here as they look at the initiation. LFY. Oh, this punky keeps on getting caught. Do they have to follow up? Coming in with the fissure, but a decent positioning with the shards. It protects him for now. He's able to make it away. Yule Scepter coming through. They're going to lock that Sven down during BKB. Overgrowth now deployed. Afu completely cutting the Sven out. Can they finish him off the orbing to the left? Storm jumping to the right. They have managed to bring down the Sven. Huge kill for LFY, but they need a little more, maybe. Rampage through the back lines. Locks onto DDC. Shreds him. Back, 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 back. Now looking for more than one. <laughs> it's Hinder too. That is the patient away from the Echo Slip. He will survive through this somehow, some way. LFY getting multiple kills. Monet making a beautiful artistic portrait of LGD's overextension now. Looking for a little bit more. The blink is ready in just a second. We'll even need it. Yao is down and the gem has been reclaimed. What on earth was that? Ame, Ame didn't pop his PKB when he went in. And then he got gusted. And then they lost the kill on the puck. The puck just came, came around and destroyed them. Pretty good play by Afui though. He kited this fan, as you mentioned, during the majority of his BKB. 
What that was there? that was the 10 second BKB, right? Like that was the yeah. 10 second BKB. Guys, I missed the fight recap. That's fine. Your your play by play I ain't made not. up for it. If this was a Valve event, that would have been added to the next chat wheel. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck he said. <laughs> <laughs> That, I, I, I was trying I know to say thwack, 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 but it's a little hard I mean, to say that like 20 times. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were doing like PL's sound when he like. I right thought that's yeah, 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 yeah. what it was. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. I was trying to. I'm not LD Pixel yet, though. That's the next level. Someday. I heard they're not recruited anymore, Pixel Pipeline. He's just waking in OD for life? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wakey's retired, right? Oh, is he? I, so I, mean, I, haven't, I haven't seen him cast. Uh oh. Daytime. It's gonna be a big deal. 1.30. That's when they have. They do have the ag. LGD at the position tree. here, but Tree. Scratch that. Is gonna catch them out first. The coil committed, but do they follow this up? They really don't want to fight into this LGD death ball. And instead, Tree's in trouble now. Roll. GG. Chase from PL. How do they not no have detection? Because they uh, lost the gem. Yeah, bought all. Spent all his money on the eggs. And then he bought two centuries. But Victoria. Uh, he's out. I don't know. Man, this tree is just killing them. You 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 were saying it in the context of the laning phase, but since then he's like initiating his counter defense, he's courier sniping. Yeah. Right? If they get the jump though with the eggs, then this tree is not a big deal. I mean I would say the damage is already done. And he's gonna get blinks in. Oh sure. Uh, I I get the Storm. Hello, Storm. Goodbye. Meanwhile, though, this does open space elsewhere as they try to make their move on 11. And guess who it is? It's Afu catching him out once more. Fall forward. Commitment for the Shaker. They'll get the kill, too. And even match to kill the Fissure. But from behind comes the spin with the Cleaver. He's been locked down for now. Will he get off a couple more auto attacks in this fight? That's really all they need to finish off Super. He's going to BKB. Not sure where he's going with that, though. He's out of mana. Poked down anyway, and Bloodstone deny in the end. So that's the 10 second <laughs> charge. And now the thwacking can commence. <laughs> I'm not even trying anymore. At least they didn't lose the gem. By the way, Puck is closing in to finishing that act, so Sven's brief reign of supposed terror is about to end really soon. I don't know what Ami is going to do in these oh, fights. Dude, those shards, those shards actually push Drow to the other side. And then she was away from this fan. It was okay. BKB on BKB Wars. Yeah. Oh, this is perhaps the trump card in the great BKB Wars. The Ash the He's been getting jumped a lot. Yep. He's, he's actually so farmed. And still quite far. PL has blink too. Gotta get on top of that Drow Ranger. The LGD feels like they have a lot more sustained damage up. It's daytime. Not creeping in. BDC with the blink dagger. Ready? 11. Threatening the leap. Monet hanging back on the high ground. They know something. But these here. ancients. Oh, they're juicy. Perhaps a bit too much. They're going to make their move. Is there a counterplay? Coil comes through. Catches everyone, but no follow up whatsoever. Phase shift. Jump out. Get the hell away. They did spend BKB for that. They're going to just make sure that coil indeed breaks well, and stuns them. If it wasn't sure that he had eggs, they definitely know now. We're going to see a big puck play here. Are we going to see a Storm Age of Snipe? They may try for it. Get the vision from the orb. The timing could be nice. Here comes the jump. He goes for it. And Afu oh. leaping in. Age of Snatched by the Dire. But they didn't get the last hit on the Roche. They got... The more important thing here, that is the Aegis. They also kill off Afu in the process. Tree down and LGD on the hunt. They surge forward onto mid. Green down means tier two is probably gonna go down. Guarantee as well, no living on to keep that up. Maybe God with the quick fingers there. Managed to snatch the cheese and the Aegis. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Alright, so basically no more lead for LFY now, guys. Can they come back? Are they a good high ground? Is this a comeback lineup? Radiance yeah. middle tower is under attack. Not a great comeback lineup, but it can come back with it. As if Storm retains all his bloodstone charges, it keeps getting bad. Yeah. But Drow is uh, petering off a little bit. Yes. Ooh, she's going for eggs. 
Going for late game, Axe Maelstrom. I'll take that. The anti PL. I'm not sure whether she could stay alive long enough in these fights to actually make that go work. Uh, DDC, another catch perhaps. The Fisher's on the wrong side, but that's what Blink Daggers are for. LGD, grab another. They're just getting too many of these pickoffs. Non stop. Yeah. It's been like ever since, I guess that was well, like the 20 something minute mark, there's just been all these easy little picks for LGD. Yeah, it's just tiny, tiny picks into cores. Into cores. They've been using their smoke much better, though. They've been, I think they hoarded it for pretty much the 20 so they can make this move. It's not really a good reason for them to smoke early on in the game. But them losing the first Aegis, or the first Aegis that has been lost to them, is a very bad sign, I think, of things to come. Here comes LGD creeping up in the bottom lane. He's so deep on the Monet, and they're gonna find him too. Again, the quick catch instantly carved up by Ame. No oh, buyback. The Shaker Fisher is just destroying them too. Yeah. Like you, you, the thing about the Shaker Fisher is that you know if you can commit to the fight or not. There are occasions where you blink in an Echo and the dude's already BKB, but if you Fisher first, they can. They're trying to split push here, Storm on the top lane, but they're not going to do it as fast as the Sven PL duo. Quickly chewing their way right through the living armor and looking now for the first lane of Rax, the Puck, Silence Initiation. Not wanting to commit the coil just yet, LGD will clean up this lane. Do they catch anyone trying to TP home? Maybe Storm can make something happen. He's almost gotten the tower down, but 11's in position. Looking for the leap, Ooh. thinking about the echo, a swing and the miss. Super was ready. And he falls out in time. Still got the bat racks. Or a little bit of it. Yeah, there you go. And now shrines. LPD are cruising. Man, imagine if Storm had the drought aura. I think he would have been able to rack. No, they had a cliff. Like, he he was not close. Like, Shaker oh, was. Oh, he's still up there. Mono? He's a bit lagging. Super, another defensive BKB just to get away. Still only 10 Bloodstone charges. It's almost a 5 second BKB now. It's. It was. It looked like the Dream Storm game heading into the mid game, but it has not proven to be the case. Oh, well, this is LFY's time to come back during nighttime. Unfortunately, there's a heart on PL. Uh oh. 3,100 health. Uh oh. It's really bad for them. I don't think they can burst through him once, let alone twice. Yeah. Oh, now they can just push. Yeah, just keep. Let's play it safe. I think, like during. This period of the game, like if they didn't have ages, they could split up, but they might. Oh my god. Oh, Afu, oh. not again. They need this tree. He gets stunned, stunned, and dead. Yeah, they split up right now. They have the potential to just get picked off and maybe like lose a gem because Storm is very good in this sort of situation. But... Power charts PL closing yeah, in on in. 100% win rate here at MDL. <laughs> they're in. Radiance middle tower has fallen. I think old 11 is like my boss. Like he didn't have the greatest landing phase. This is not not an easy lane for him, but he's been delivering. I think with the initiation, he's just making it very easy for LGD to follow up. I would agree. Yep. Thank you, LD. I'm a big old 11 fan. Smack those shrines. <laughs> 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 Let me right. dying, guys. Instant can't can't handle a good flanking. Instant classic. <laughs> we need an LD voice fag. <laughs> uh. We need a Dakota. Just the three lines I have in the game, I feel like is already enough for my. We taste. need a Dakota. Doesn't he cast with the like box where he has all uh, the sound? Oh, yeah. the soundboard. Yeah, yeah, but those are a lot of those like kind of copyrighted things. Well. Like, this he would put on, like, the Attack on Titan music and stuff. This is why we have LD start your own ones. <laughs> you can have your own soundboard. Oh, trying go. onto the Ancients. The Dream Scan could be the start of the huge turnaround. Can LFY set this up? Super jumps in, BKB committed. Will he get a kill? Tusk low, silence, almost dead. Not finished off yet, stays alive. Finally will finish him, but meanwhile, this PL still has cheese. He does oh. not have the Aegis right now, so... Maybe they can make something more happen here. They're very low on bottom in the storm, though. He had to jump away. The rest of the team retreats so far. A tusk for a tree. That's that's it. 
It's not good at all for an LGDFY because the, the PL can just run at whomever he wants. He even got five seconds stunned by the co Dream Coil, but he didn't even care. Well, they got a Bloodstone charge. Yeah. Got him. He got a Bloodstone charge. Mm -hmm. But they wasted their smoke. They scanned. But as long as PL's on front, they can't actually kill or beat LGD in a fight. But Storm had the right idea. Super went into the back line, tried to go on to the squishy uh, keeper to go on the squishy shaker, but they're not actually that squishy anymore. It just seems like if PL is in the fight, you just can't win because if you don't go for the PL, then PL is just going to just kill your team faster than you're going to kill PL. I mean, and we're not even talking about the Sven. Yeah, oh, yeah. there's also that. Thank you, Victoria. I think Sven's much easier to kite, though. Yeah, like you I don't think Sven is actually too big of a problem. Right, yeah. but it's more like you're going to worry about the PL and then Sven's probably going to get to kill someone. Yeah. It's just the BKB wars with Warcry is just always goes uh, Sven's way. As long as Earthshaker's his life. If they kill Earthshaker to start a fight, I could see uh, Fight winning the fight. But they'd have to dump a lot on him. So hard now, though. He's got the Solar Crest, the extra Plate yeah. Mail, the Yule Scepter, yeah, he's actually... the Snowball save. Imagine if he gets 600 health at 25. Mm -mm -mm. Is that your favorite talent? Uh, it's pretty good. I think... 600 is one of the highest. 600 is, is pretty oh. absurd. The other Tusk, one, Tusk says, look Tusk at me, dude. 700. Yes, Tusk says 700 and be like, bruh. Bruh. And he also has a 40% experience gain to get there. Mm. Yep. Well, I mean, you don't strike me as a bruh kind of guy. You say bruh a lot. I, I he, do? Yeah, I do. I know, but... I do. I say a lot. He does yeah, say it a lot. I just wouldn't have expected he's oh, a, a bruh. Okay. You know, you, know you, you just... You can't drop it all the time. You gotta choose yep. your place in time, just like this. Gotta be a selective brawler. Yeah. Super, he makes his selection. It's old 11, he wants. It's old 11, he might get the fuel scepter. Turns things around, and then the BKB. Sven with the big sword doing work right now. Super finds himself deep behind enemy lines. Can he finish anyone off? The snowball turns it around. He gets stunned, echoed, enchant totem, punch. They really hate this storm, but they can't finish him off yet. He fights his way through it all. Oh, get two. They want more. The stolen fish are used by DDC here, locking Yao down. <laughs> He's like, well, I'll try to take the shrine with me. That also won't happen. Oh, they lost the gem. Easy bloodstone charges. They lost the fight during daytime because their two cores did not protect their supports. And they didn't have detection, so they couldn't actually chase. Classic cores. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true core player. Really. You sounded almost admiring, Ben, as though this is what you aspire to as a core player. Ditch my supports. Yeah, I love doing that, but I know it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> We lose the team fight. Where's Ben? Oh, he's farming with TP cooldown. Like this is no. The, this game you have recall. Is, this is bots <laughs> Midas Merlini after all. Yeah. Please, you have recall. I'm all about That's the That's on you, man. I'm I'm ready to go. Just recall me. <laughs> yeah, just recall me. <laughs> to me, though, that was uh, for the first one of the first few fights where Super actually went for the supports as opposed to the cores, right? You want a shaker? Yeah, that's. I think that's the way to go. Yeah, like, yeah you have to kill shaker first. Yeah, he's he's such a big problem. Oh, they found an opening here mid, or so they think. They lunge, lunge on the maybe. Remember, he does have a cheese though. They're gonna have to commit a lot uh, to kill him once. Let alone mana. a second time. Maybe he says, "Screw it, man. I'm manning up." Super's out of mana. He has the BKP if he needs it. Double gang. Stick around. Jump on the Apu. They can trap him in the trees, and in his own trees, he will die. A prison of friends. Shaker chasing off the Rubik. He has Yules if he gets the blink. Oh, okay. Phantom Lancer also has a 20 strength talent. That is a lot of HP. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all gonna get the HP talent at 25? I mean, Elfoy <laughs> has damage issues, right? Like, right Rubik doesn't do, do much, Tree doesn't do much, so that's why Drow, like, is going back to compensate for his team. They're all gonna have, like, at least 2,000 health. When he has his Mjolnir, it'll be fine. <laughs> that's a long time, though. Yeah. Or okay, even when he has axe, it's okay, but yeah, we don't hear his ideal. Roshan's up in about 10 seconds. Oh, almost butterfly time. Stack that up with the Solar Crest. I mean, you're talking about the Ags, Ben, but there's evasion to think about here. Who? Ags on who? The Drow. Oh, yeah. Yep. So just throw an MKB on her shopping list. She needs. She does need Mjolnir and MKB. And X. And X. Yeah, just needs about 10k gold with some items and then she's ready to fight. <laughs> no problem. Oh, well, she has fallen behind. She has 5,000. And he has the luxury of having two pages. So. Uh, 
I do see some of you folks uh, wondering where uh, the other simultaneous game is happening. That's over on Beyond the Summit 2, guys. There are two games at once. They're, we're just following the first line, uh, Breaky CPK and Z Rock, bringing you the second line on Beyond the Summit 2. So if you want the EG game, go to Beyond the Summit 2. Are we working with no delay? I believe we have no delay. If not, they'll hear it. But that is. That's the best kind of delay. <laughs> if Lumi had his way, he would never interact with you. No, that's like, it's the worst, right? You try to interact with chat and then... Oh, I thought you meant, oh, I thought you meant zero delays. Yeah, worst. yeah. Oh, God, you should be able to talk to chat. That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Storm's going for eggs. This could actually make a big difference. Because then he can almost kill three support that once. Oh, Walrus punch, quick, oh. easy initiation gem down. Yeah, Puck does so that, so. Force it out, dude. Let's Puck sounds so sad. No. That's what he says when he dies. In case you guys the lore of Puck is actually horrific. Go can on. You give us a TL. Yeah. D D well, eight, we're not like eight players. all his children, right? That's like the, the Puck thing. Uh -huh. It's a cannibal. Eats his kids. But he looks so kawaii. It's like that's like a Joker smile, you know? Like that's like <laughs> I see. Like it looks like he's smiling, but really he's just got like gashes in his face. So like always the jawline is turned up. He's an evil one, that fairy thing. GG can't deal with these PLs. Sorry, it's it's simply it's not it's not kids fairy. Equally bad. Here comes the Siege, LGD looking for their second lane of Rax as they zero in, they're gonna force out that Puck 5 back. Oh, is it the time though? Jeez. Well, they'll take the tower down, I guess they don't get the Rax yet. But they'll grab them soon, Afu. Trying to sneak in here, but again, the Fissure oh initiations God. every single fight. It's 11 starting the party, and LGD delete the Rubik. They'll force him to buy back immediately. The Puck has already died back, so they're down one for sure. Possibly Mort. They hold this Fen in position, but they can't kill him, and that's just the Fen. Just they know he has the PL, who's basically got the Butterfly, but hasn't officially been picked up just yet. Yeah, maybe has it in fact. Monet gets to the base. Now the tree, a massacre in the LFI base. It all crumbles here. LGD Classic. I mean, they are the best kind of LGD today. <laughs> Chapel's fans to BM their way to victory. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I thought Elfoy had that. They were up 8k. It was like 15 to 20 minutes. They had the tower advantage. They had the tree, so they were able to maintain that tower advantage. But and then the smokes happened. Yeah. They didn't play well around the smokes. Like, they're... They lost the Puck with the gem. They I lost think it was a lot of supports. They lost Roche. Puck died.